Good morning, y'all, from uh, Kitchen Stadium. Saturday, September. What a month, huh? Hotter than a $2 pistol the next few days. We're going to have a high fire danger here. So naturally, people will get a little bit of PTSD reflecting back to uh, 2017, 2019. So, I mean, who in the hell, you never know what you're going to get. It's like the Forrest Gump of uh, fires, the fire season. But I've uh, been sitting here contemplating my recipe for tonight. I'm going to try a homemade mac and cheese, my style, which means we, we don't use things like Velveeta smooth creamy cheese i like something that's going to have a little wang to it we're going to put some bacon in it we're going to cook up some bacon we're going to do the uh, elbow uh, macaroni noodles and get that all together we're going to fire that up in the barbecue grill so it should be it should be interesting tonight and um could take a while i'm kind of balanced between the cemetery or not because we always have a good time at the uh, Santa Rosa Royal Cemetery, but I guess it's going to be a long stream tonight if we, uh, uh, if I do the mac and cheese and all that. But that's okay too. Got plenty, of, plenty of beer. For that. <laughs> Thank you to those of you who last ni uh, last night played tunes. We really enjoy music night uh, uh, here, and it's a great way to showcase. Not only does it help the channel, it's a great way to showcase the tunes that you enjoyed listening to or the tunes that were meaningful for you in your your coming of age. So it makes it a lot of fun. So thank you. Um, I do want to go out and try to do some metal detecting today before it gets too outrageously hot. I got a hacker to do that. I haven't done that in a couple of days. And the content is really going to be ramping up here as we move into the fall I know I've been very involved with uh, work I mean what the hell to the point that probably wrecked my wrecked my eyes now it's like my foster grants cheaters <laughs> I can't see that hold on a minute where are my where, where, where are my readers amazingly though for five months six months I've been able to keep the same pair of readers whereas I go through uh, Ray-Ban sunglasses like they're like they're um, cocktail wieners <laughs> so, so I've been pretty lucky in that uh, in that regard but the metal detection detecting should be uh, fun it's college football uh, Saturday some people oh Rosie why you waste so much time on uh, sports betting because uh, my theory is when you get when you get uh, older and you're in your um, retirement years and your golden years, a lot of people tend, to, instead of being proactive with life, they tend to just tend to become sort of passive with life. Meaning that they will uh, plop out in a recliner, click on the TV, and just put it on autopilot. So they're, as time goes by, they're getting less and less stimulation from their own mind and they're getting more and more from uh, you know television and starts to occupy and movies and things and occupies their time there's nothing wrong with it but I think you need to stay sharp and engaged you need to have your mind uh, occupied with challenges whether it's putting puzzles together uh, uh, just just doing things that will keep you engaged in in life and keep your brain sharp. I think the brain has to be exercised too. And I think too often, a couple things. If I had to point to two things to keep you young, it would be drink a lot of uh, drink a lot of liquids, stay hydrated, start your day with one or two big glasses of uh, water, and then take it from there. And number two, stay sharp, stay engaged. Don't think because I'm a certain age I can't do something anymore. It's nonsense. You can keep doing, uh, and it doing those fun things and the things that you've liked to do. I mean, why change it up? Why change it up because you enjoy doing it? And I think it's also important to get some exercise uh, so that your circulation system, your circulatory system, is moving a little more which moves waste along. I think it's a very, very important scene. So I kind of enjoy just putting my brain 
uh, on it. Yeah, we fought through a draw so far after a couple weeks, but it's been a lot of fun, you know, and it's it's got me plugged into the uh, uh, plugged into the sports scene, and it's been really a blast for me. And I think mentally it provides the challenges that I like. I can't always account for people that have. <clears throat> I can I can pretty much pick if the game's going to be as <laughs> I expect it to be. But when you start to get butterfingers out there with <laughs> and you have this oblong shaped ball that bounces in a hundred or different directions when it hits the ground, it makes things a little unpredictable when it comes to uh, what's going to happen. And uh, certainly found that out last night with uh, butterfingers all over the Illinois uh, team. But as I said, it's a lot of fun. And if you can have that much fun and even fight to a draw, or just lose negligibly or win negligibly it's it's uh, to me it's great fun and it's a great challenge and like I said it your success I think will be a level of your interest in whatever you're choosing to pursue and spend your time on and that's the way it should be I think we got oh maybe 30 more days with the current configuration of kitchen stadium and then we uh, come down. I think I'm just going to tarp it over. It'd be a lot easier for putting lights up and stuff like that. Um, I don't think this thing is going to be able to stand up to... No, darn well, it's not going to be able to stand up to the rain. And As soon as it collects rain and things, it's all going to break and come down. And Well, I don't know if I really want to um, go through all that hassle of four or five rebuilding. So, uh, I think I'm going to tarp the top of it, get myself a good... Uh, Tarp, and I think that that it'll it'll give it as it'll give as least as much coverage as I have uh, right now, and even theoretically more. Yeah, so I need about a uh, 45, 50 foot tarp by about 20, so by about uh, 15, about 15 feet or so. So it should be pretty doggone. Uh, should be good. We'll be ready to go for another uh, season. But tonight's going to be fun with the bacon and macaroni. And we'll see with the heat about um, heading up to the uh, cemetery tonight. We shall see. I mean, it's really going to be roasting the old chestnuts tonight. So have a great Saturday, everybody. I will see you around. Let me know what uh, you use to keep sharp and engaged. Uh, let me know down in the comment section down below. And as usual, your thumbs up are appreciated. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. The bell for all notifications so you can be here as content ramps up in the fall of 2022. Thanks, everybody.